hello guys and welcome back to a new video um today i have with me a very interesting car the new ford kuga plug-in hybrid st line 2020 model and today we will review it i will go through every detail and uh, information about the car and i hope you will enjoy this car now ford in 2020 a promise to come with some hybrid car and this is the plug-in hybrid car uh, that i waiting for for a long time and they managed to make a great great uh, hybrid system and this car come with an electric uh, motor also uh, with a bigger battery 14.4 uh, kilowatt battery lithium battery uh, that is connected to an electric engine and also uh, together with a petrol uh, engine they work together and they manage to bring 225 horsepower a lot of a lot of uh, <laughs> power uh, in this um, Kuga uh, and I think this is a great great uh, SUV if you need a plug-in hybrid SUV um, this is one of the best on the market today uh, to be honest and I'm, I'm really impressed with what they managed to do and I want to I want to say something before we start the review um, this car can drive only in the electric mode around 56 um, kilometers so you can drive in the city 56 kilometer only in the electric mode also you can charge the car uh, at the type 2 charging station uh, home you can you can connect and you can install a charging wall um, station at home and you can charge the car in only around three uh, and a half hour anyway let's go forward guys uh, I think you already see the the, the blinkers and the lights uh, something that I want to tell you is that those uh, headlamps here, the front light, it's LED light, it's also adaptive LED light and also it's, it's um, combined with the cameras that um, they help, you know, it's kind of adaptive LED light, adaptive high beam that they don't blind the other uh, traffic participants. So this is a great, great uh, feature to have it on the car. So. It's kind of the less technology from the Ford and uh, yeah the lights are fantastic also the car come with this grill you can see the other Kuga that it's only hybrid it's kind of a mi mild hybrid is not plug-in and you can see it has a different front grille but this car ST line it looks much better uh, if you look at the lines at the shapes it's look much more like a Porsche and also with this red it's fantastic there is the camera in the middle um, that helped the car reading the traffic speed limit and also help the uh, adaptive high bin and low bin and headlight uh, you can see how big is the grill uh, because the engine need to be cooled down it's a 2.5 liter petrol engine so it's kind of big there in the middle you have the radar guys for adaptive cruise control emergency brake and the car come with the latest safety technology also it comes with six parking sensors in the front in the back beautiful lines and beautiful shape of the bumper in the front also the fog lamps are led light just to keep in mind and yeah i like the shape of the car i like the bumper i think it fits perfectly also the red color it's super super nice uh, on the car also here you can see the rims uh, they are 19 inch rims and they look super nice also the red brake calipers look super uh, sporty and nice we have the ventilated brake discs in the front in the back as well so just as an information now let me close the blinkers the turn signal and also the light because i want to save some battery now um here on the left side we will find this uh charging port as i told you before uh type 2 fast charging you can charge the car uh, ford uh, claim that you can charge the car in under three uh three and a half hour you have the st line logo on the door this time usually it's a little bit forward uh, on the normal 
uh, car but on the plug-in hybrid it's on the doors i like these edges around the the edges of uh, around the car here around the edges of the wheel because those plastic edges protect the car in time from scratch and from all that stuff and also you can see here we have some rubber plastic to protect the wheels and the articulation of the car we have keyless entrance in the car so you can lock and unlock the car only if you have the key in your pocket here is the key if you're wondering it's looking super nice in my opinion beautiful key so you have to just close the door and then when you have the, the finger there the car will lock and it will unlock when you put the hands right here so it's pretty nice also something that I find out and I will let you the sound it's the quality of the doors I will show you a little bit later also you have automatic lift gate you can open it up with the key also you can open it up or close it with your with your leg so you just have to put your leg there it's kind of a sensors like let me pro let me test it yeah just like that it's super simple just kind of hit it and then the the trunk it will uh, close up and also when you want to open it is the same story now on the other side the same st line i think the rims look super nice the 19 inch rims they fit perfect with the car uh it's just my opinion I think they find the best combination also beautiful shape of the car it's look a little bit like a Porsche uh, this new Kuga this is my opinion I also like the lines and the shapes and the round shapes and also the spoiler here uh, also on the roof you can add some extra uh, storage you have there the antenna for the radio and um, around the windows here we have some rubber if you're wondering I think if, if here was this plastic glossy that all the premium cars today use it I think the car will look much better but still it's still uh, looking very good six parking sensors in the back also the car come with this blind spot technology uh, when you are uh, driving in reverse it tell you if someone come from left or right so it's kind of cool also beautiful bumper also in the back we have the plug-in hybrid logo on the right side reverse camera Kuga writing uh, right here in the back reverse camera LED lights on the number plate just to keep in mind um, and yeah the lights you already see it um, the tail lights I think on the tail lights they can improve a little bit the light there um, also the, the spoiler the roof spoiler look looks super nice in my opinion it's very nice it fits perfect with the car the aerodynamic the way it's shaped I think it's perfect just one thing I will change the blinkers on the back I will make it LED light uh, and then the car is perfect here we have the fog lamps on the right on the left we have just the light reflectors the bumpers are perfect they look so nice so sporty so beautiful here we have also the tank on the left side but I will change uh, the blinkers guys I wish the blinkers was LED light and then the car was perfect also I will open up the trunk with my with my feet so you can see the trunk here pretty big trunk here is the, the button the handle LED light up here uh, on the roof and another LED light on the right side in the trunk the trunk it's super big you have this protection here that will go up and down pretty simple you can take it out as well if you want to we have a flat floor some plastic at the entrance perfectly flat floor I like that you have hooks here some small space in the left side there we have a 12 volt board some hooks this handle is to fold down the seats here on the right side again some space then we have the speaker another light and the handle to fold down the uh, the, the um, seats here we have the cables guys the type 2 cables uh, 32 amps that way the car can charge pretty fast three three hours 3.5 hours uh, at the uh, fast charging station and this is the socket for home normal socket for home so you can charge the car uh, also at home those cables come standard with the car so um, yeah I think at home you can charge the car in around eight hours eight nine hours 
uh, maybe less maybe eight maybe seven i don't know i'm not sure around there here is the 12 volt battery under here and you still have plenty of space impressive for a plug-in hybrid to have so much space here under the the floor in the trunk and you know why because the battery it's under the car you know like the electric cars here usually when you pull that the seats should go down but i just don't want to force it let me try another and yeah just uh, every time you pull these things uh, the seats should fall down and i want to show you that this new ford kuga have a flat floor here so that's really impressive and very practical and very helpful the fact that you can fold down the seats and have a flat floor it's super super useful and many people look for that now here you have the handle down here uh, but in the same time you have to pull it and leave it down so oh, i need the boat hand to do that let me leave the camera for a second right here guys and pull it up leave it down and then you will have the flat floor completely there the entrance in the car it's quite big and you can see here the space in the interior it's it's really big uh, you have plenty plenty of space there even on the legs the legs room it's great there uh, you have some space to put your stuff um, you can see here uh, you can fold this down if you put the, the headrest a little bit in the front then you can see the maximum uh, folding position here you have plenty of space and even though in the middle is no bump there it's just a straight floor i like that very much uh, because even in the middle the person that stay in the middle have plenty of space so ford i have to tell you for a plug-in hybrid the space in the car it's super impressive um, and look at the uh, look at the trunk here and the space uh, you can carry so many items it's such a big entrance and um, I have to tell you this become one of my favorite um, SUVs in in this class uh, to be honest and the fact that you can drive till 56 km only in electric mode and you have all that safety features and technologies on the car it's really impressive stay with me guys until the end because I will show you also the price and all other information here on the back door we have plastic on the on the back part then you have the handle electric um, windows here we have some leather great quality leather some light reflectors we have a speaker and the space here cup holder we have some uh, space in the door bands um, by the way the sound in the car it's bang on and olufsen great sound uh great entrance in the car also here we have a flat kind of flat floor uh look at those seats the seats have two position you can leave it on all the way on the back or a little bit straighter uh depend how you prefer the position the quality of the seats it's very good we have leather and combination with uh, alcantara in the middle super good quality guys to be honest uh, I like very much the quality of the seats. You can see the red stitches here in the middle. You have an armrest with two cup holders. And um, yeah, even the design and the quality are impressive and they are also very uh, comfortable to tell you. Behind the front seats, we have leather all over the place and some storage space here in the middle. We have the vents and also some um, two buttons for the heated seats because we have heated seats in the back and also a 150 volts outlet where you can charge your for example laptop or yeah wherever uh, you want to charge it it's a slow one but it's still very good here i like the fact that you don't have any step just two three centimeter there so you will stay without any problem let me adjust the seats in my position in my driving position in the front because i want to see how much space that we have in the back so you have electric seats adjustable seats here that's a great again for the driver and for the passengers as well so i think this is my position this is yeah this is my driving position and let me go in the back to see how much space i have on my legs on my head 
so we can compare a little bit with other models so well it's it's really good i like that for hybrid wow it's really good and i can stretch my legs wow incredible and guys don't forget the battery the 14 uh kilowatt hour battery it's under the floor where my where my my foot are under my foot is the battery and you still have plenty of space on the head on the legs wow great job great visibility on the windows it's not the best one but it's still very good um, also handle hooks on the roof some led lights here on the roof then we have some black soft material on the roof good quality as well let me go in the middle i go very easy because the step it's small plenty of space on my legs room guys it's pretty impressive and also i can stay with my legs together headroom plenty free people um yeah i think no problem for free people almost stretch my hand i like that i like the space very spacious this new ford kuga hybrid plug-in hybrid actually it's really impressed me really really impressed me the quality the seats are great i like the steering wheel as well it's awesome the dashboard layout it's very good also the new sh gear shifter it's super awesome i will show you in the moment i think you already know it uh, that the automatic cars from ford come with this uh sh speed uh, gear shifter it's super uh, super cool it's a wireless anyway great visibility in the front here this time in the front on the doors we have soft material it's no more plastic it's just soft everywhere everywhere even here it's everywhere soft material and it also have this nice design also on the doors in the front we have this plastic glossy in gray with a nice kind of nice design trim inside there uh, lock on lock buttons we have it here then we have the buttons for electric windows, electric mirrors, uh, also some leather here where your arm are resting, some light reflector, door bands, plenty of space, even inside here. You can see I can put my hand inside there, two cup holders. And I, as I told you, bang and all of sense speakers, great sound inside the car. Um, yeah, what can I say? I like the design of the, of the doors. Anyway, in the front, the quality is much better. ST line logo here with some chrome at entrance. Aluminium pedals, another plus for the car. And here we have the buttons. Open the trunk, the front, uh, the, the trunk, and uh, the tank. Here you can change and adjust the light. You have also the buttons for the um, brightness of the cockpit. And then going up, soft material on the dashboard. Uh, pretty good quality when you touch the vents it, they feel good they feel smooth also we have soft everywhere on the dash then we have the head-up display i will show you a little bit later and then there in the front we have again another speaker as i told you great great sound inside the car electric um electric seats here um they work super nice and super smooth you can also see it here it's pretty simple to adjust it uh, red stitches with leather here in the middle again the same nice material side support pretty good seats they look nice and they feel really comfortable um, yeah what can I say you can you can look for yourself and <laughs> write me guys tell me what your opinion uh, about the interior and about the seats but uh, my opinion is that they they are great they are great and also here in the middle you have an armrest that you can adjust it in the front in the back put it up and then you have a space there a small space you can take it out 12 volt port and again kind of a big deep space there where you can put your stuff again a big space here where you can put your phone for example and pretty simple the center console it's simple and nice you can adjust the steering wheel manually from here uh, in every position you want that's another uh, good stuff going inside here we have the buttons where you can change to drive only in echo you can automatic parking the car have also this option and then sensors and stuff like that here's the the wireless shifter one of my favorite it's pretty awesome it's just a wheel left right 
some uh, leather here on the head on the knee rest uh, wireless charging in the middle there uh, you can charge your phone wireless also you have USB-C USB 2 and also the 12 volt port the climatic system up here heated seats heated steering wheel <laughs> pretty awesome guys to be honest um, every car should have that in the winter great great quality on the vents also down here um, when you touch it they, they feel good they don't feel like cheap plastic also here is the new multimedia system the buttons to change the the, the sound also you have a button for the camera I'll show you later let me close the door guys and you can see on the dashboard the same plastic that is on the door it's also here on the dash this kind of gray uh, plastic it look nice it's it's really uh, glossy and interesting I think I like the the layout it's super simple and nice and uh, the combination is very good also the visibility from the driver point of view it's perfect to the new digital cockpit and also to the new multimedia system it's very good and um, let me go here here you have also soft material so that's to keep in mind and then the glow box is pretty big you can put there your stuff so we have a vest right now there anyway good good layout now guys uh, let me show you the information about the car I give you some in the beginning but let me talk about the price so we have the new Ford Kuga um, and then 2.5 liter plug-in hybrid SD line X keep in mind that because the grill is different then going forward guys you can see we have only 32 grams co2 emission it's fantastic on this car four cylinder 225 horsepower uh, the, the starting price of this car it's 45,000 francs around 45,000 dollars anyway it's the same and the final price with all the option on on this car it's 45,900 francs around there the same in, in dollars in euro around 43,000 euro also you have three years warranty or 100 100,000 kilometer uh, just to keep in mind and it's uh, it's really impressive that you have uh, only 32 grams here too um, that's really helpful and um, yeah Hyundai claim you have around 1.6 uh, liter the consumption the fuel consumption it's really good for an SUV it's really impressive up here on the roof you have a glass support also uh, LED lights up here let me show you uh, that's a good thing that you have LED lights kind of yellowish but they are LED and also here you have a microphone and then you have the mirrors with uh, some light the handle good quality on the roof I told you before and the steering wheel is also great quality like the same like the seats you have leather with little holes red stitches nice quality great grip uh, i like it very much and also you have the buttons here where you can adjust the cockpit i will show you later and also here on the left side we have the cruise control uh, settings and all that uh, stuff it look nice it feel nice to be here in a driving position we have a great visibility on the windows in the mirrors very good visibility to be honest around the, the the edges maybe a little bit of blind spot in the corners there in the back but other than that it's just just perfect no complaining it's i like it i like the way it is uh here is the multimedia system also great contrast and great um position they put it in the perfect position the climatic system it's kind of simple to use and if it's nice it's simple it's yeah nothing unusual the start stop engine button it's right there uh, it's pretty simple also the new cockpit it show you some information of the battery around about the battery and it's a little bit different than the normal version of the of the car so there you have it in the front also there it is the head-up display it's super nice the head-up display it's come out from the dashboard and you have there all the information like the uh, navigation like the speed and speed limit also here on the right side on those buttons you can customize kind of customize um, this new digital cockpit and also you can see the navigation you can choose 
where you want to go from here and you have some stuff down there you can see also how much range you have on the electric um, battery and also how much range you have with the petrol uh, engine um, yeah what can I say you have some customizable uh, things here in the digital display is not the same as you find it on the Mercedes for example but it's still great and it gives you plenty of great information there in the front you can see the consumption you can see um, the tire pressure and also you can change different settings um, yeah what can I say it's just uh, the color this blue color it's also nice and it's really relaxing when you're driving in the night here the the multimedia system with the navigation it's very responsive it doesn't have any lag at all so you can see here that the the screen doesn't have any lag so you can see for yourself the colors are nice the resolution it's nice it's very responsive every time you touch the button it gets where it should get it's simple to use much more simple than <laughs> in other uh, cars for example and a Volkswagen is more complicated it has much more things so if you are a simple person that doesn't like the technology too much um, yeah this is perfect it make what it should make and also uh, here are the settings where you can change different stuff also I forget to tell you the car guys uh, can be used with the mobile phone through the application so you can um, start the engine lock unlock the car see where the car it is send the uh, the address on the navigation system and also turn on the heat and cool inside the car through the mobile app just keep in mind that uh, I just don't want to forget to tell you that uh, but you have to connect it and I don't have the phone to show you also here you have plenty of um, yeah settings for example here you have all the safety settings cruise uh, cruise control um, for example uh, emergency brake um, blind spot technology lane assist and all that um, safety settings so that that's pretty impressive how many safety settings it is on this car and I think the price for 45,000 uh, to buy an SUV with so many safety settings great quality <laughs> and you have two engines uh, great consumption um, I, I think also the car have some ambient light the blue one I forget to show you also here is the reverse camera that has great resolution you can see for yourself you have a great visibility there I'm really impressed if I have to buy now an SUV well I think this was in my on my list uh, because I think the price is awesome if you want to buy a Mercedes or a BMW uh, an SUV one with all the settings that are on this uh, new Ford Kuga and hybrid and to be able to drive 56 km only in electric mode and to regenerate the brake and all that cool safety settings and also automatic shifter here uh, super simple to use I don't think you will be able to buy it you will buy it maybe for double the price um, anyways check out on my channel if you want to see all that Mercedes and BMW SUVs and the price and you will understand what I'm talking about um, also it's super simple to drive this car you have a tall position uh, the car look nice to be honest look like a Porsche um, but this is just my opinion uh, from the exterior if you change the grill it is a Porsche um, but yeah and, and I wish it was the LED light on the blinkers on the back <laughs> that's something that I I don't know why but I like to have that not that you see it when you are inside the car but it's just the thing uh, also the bumpers the, the 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 suspension are very good guys uh, when you take the the bumps it feel nice it feel great the the position is great you can drive it very easy change the shifter super easy you can see here I just made a little bit of driving to test that out but if you want to see the test drive with this car it will come next week probably so stay on my channel subscribe to my channel check out my other videos I also have the, the review with the new Ford Kuga 
not the, the hybrid it's just the normal version so check it out if you are interested to see that uh, also I will show you the engine maybe you're interested uh, so keep in mind the battery is under the car now we will go to the engine open up this uh, trunk it's super easy I was try to find the, the the thing there but it doesn't have anything you just have to pull it up just like that I was kind of stupid here but anyway now the engine is here the electric motor it's also around here I think somewhere under in the right side I'm, I'm not sure I don't remember but anyway I think in the right side down somewhere but other than that it's just there the engine the petrol engine is there it's it's just look at the car it's look nice here guys um, I think um, I want to show you something another cool stuff <laughs> that you have it on this price this rubber protection for the doors I wish I have this on my car really guys why why don't you all the car manufacturer make this for the cars it will be such easy and I don't have to protect the car all the time when you're parking so you can see it come out alone when you open the doors even in the back if you have kids it's great it's great so you don't have to worry when you when you park the car uh, between the other cars the design of the car it's fabulous the the exhaust pipes the bumper one of my favorite thing also the upper roof spoiler and yeah it's just nice it's just i i like it very much i like the design um i think this is one of the most beautiful suv in the front i will change only the the grill maybe i like the lights they look so much as a porsche so much the the, the 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 headlamps they are they are super nice also even the fog lamp it's an led light and this glossy plastic and all that uh, nice design the lines on the hood now i want to show you the other this is the mild hybrid it's just a hybrid without the plug-in but you see it's different the grill is different uh, I think it looked a little bit better than the other one, to be honest. It has also a smaller rims, I think 17 inch rims. Uh, and also the lights here are different. They are LED light, but they are not adaptive light. Uh, but other than that, down here, it's, it's just um, different. The bumper is different. Here is the hybrid Titan X. I will make the review on my channel soon. So stay on my channel if you want to see also the review with this normal hybrid and then uh, I will show you also you can see there the price and all that info so this is the car it's it's kind of different you can see the difference to be honest I like more this ST line X uh, if I was me I would buy this one also you can see the mirrors they are uh, electric so uh, this is also the head-up display in the end I want to show you Guys, I hope you really enjoyed this review with the new Ford Kuga plug-in hybrid SD Line X 2020. Please subscribe to my channel. Check out my other videos. I hope it was helpful. Please like it, share it, please. That means a lot for me. Thank you very much again for watching my video, guys. I wait you back in the next video. So stay safe and see you soon. Bye, guys.